Hello, I'm really excited to introduce my 12 tooth gear escapement. Here's a quick demo. Um, as you can see, it's like a works at a low power and uh, I'm gonna create another video that'll show the exact construction. Um, just a, one very important note, this part here is very important because if I didn't have this part holding these uh, axles in place, then the bottom axle that holds the escapement would like get pressed down. So in order to make sure that it works, actually, because uh, my first design, I, I did it without the front, uh, you know, pieces holding it. And then um, when I did connect it, it stopped working because it's a really, really tiny tolerances. I'll just give you a quick look of how I achieved um, the exact, I mean, I must have gone through like 200 different variations, but this is how I achieved the exact um, height of this one. This one's pretty straightforward. This uh, palette is pretty straightforward, really. But uh, this one only works with this configuration, you know. doesn't work with like a one by two stud with two holes in it. I tried that first. I only have one of these pieces this, you know, piece with the hole in it. Um, and, uh, so, um, uh, it was, uh, a lot of work. This is the distance that you need to put between the escapement wheel and the, um, whatever this part is called, you know, the part that holds the escapement pallets itself, this part. Um, one thing I'm really proud of is that there's no adjustment necessary. As long as you have the right pieces, it's going to work. And I spent a lot of time trying to get that to happen because I'm not into the whole adjustment thing. I want, when I make them an escapement, other people should be able to use it. Um, here's the exact um, <clears throat> pallet setup. The only issue that you have, obviously, is that it's uh, angled, so you have to be creative to get a pendulum to hang from it. But, you know... I'll leave that part to you. I, I did the hard work on this part. Um, so just I'll just take it apart now quickly so I'll show you exactly what um, pieces are used. And uh, here we go. This, this piece is actually crucial. You gotta use this piece. And here you have two, one by one. And this is a, whatever that, I don't even know what they're called. I'm just gonna show it to you. That wasn't easy. The 1L pin connector. And then you have this snot piece, um, right? Goes on like this. Sorry for all this uh, view of my hands, but hey, I think it'll be worth it. Like that. And it's pretty strong also. It can withstand, you know, pretty strong pressure, although low power is probably gonna work the sound the nicest, work the nicest. Um, you know, you want to click really quickly. So, hope you enjoyed this video and um, hope it proves uh, useful for you in a future project.